information and details about the basic knowledge of the history legalities and the development of sea prevention of collision at sea. In 1840, the London Trinity House drew up a set of regulations which were enacted Parliament in 1846. In, in the year 1846, the two Trinity House rules for steam vessels were combined into a single rule and included in the Steam Navigation Act of 1846. In the year 1848, Admiralty regulations concerning lights were included in the uh, SNA two years later in 1948. Steamship required to give a green and red light, red side light, as well as a white mast head light. In the year 1858, colored side lights were prescribed for sealing vessels and fog signal were required to be given by stem vessel on the whistle and by ceiling vessel on the fog horn or bell. In the year 1863, a complete new set of rules drawn up by British Board of Trade in consultation with the French government. In 1864, by the end of 1864, the set of rules set 1863, known as Articles, had been adopted by over 30 maritime countries including United States of America, and Germany. In the year 1867, Mr. Thomas Gray, Assistant Secretary to the Maritime Department of Road of Trade, wrote a pamphlet on the rule of Road of Sea which included a number of vessels as said of memory. These verses became popular and were translated into other language. In the year 1880, some changes to the 1863 rules were brought into force in 1880, including a new rule permitting whistle signal to be given to indicate action taken by steamship to avoid collision. In the year 1884, a new set regulation came into force but this not differ substantial from the previous one. In the year 1889, the first international maritime conference to consider regulation of preventing collision at sea was held in Washington in 1889 initiated by government of the United States of America. In 1897, the 1889 regulation in Washington conference were brought into force by several countries including Britain and the United States in 1897. In the year 1910, Maritime Conference held in Brussels in 1910, international agreement was reached on a set of regulations which differ in only minor respect from those drafted at Washington Conference in 1889. 1910, regulation remained in force until 1950. In 1929, International Conference on SOLAS proposed some minor change of the rules but never ratified. In the year 1933, a recommendation that home and steering orders should be given in the direct sense so that right rudder or starboard meant put the vessel rudder to starboard was accepted and came into force in 1933. In, in the year 1948, the regulations were revised and an international conference on SOLAS 1948, no drastic changes were made. Relatively few vessels were fitted with radar in 1948, so no changes were made to so take account of these equipment. In the year 1954, the revised rules came into force in 1954. In the year 1960, an international conference on SOLAS was convened in London in 1960 by the EMCO, which is now the 1910 recommendation concerning the use of radar were made in the annex to the rules. In the year 1964, a new working group with representatives from additional country was formed in 1964 to consider routining schemes for other areas. In the year 1965, the 1960 conference rules came into force in 1965. In the year 1967, the proposal on separation scheme were accepted by EMCO and recommended for use by mariners in 1967.